Okay, uh, check the title and the description to see what this video is about. Anyways, what you want to do is you want to have some space in between the beginning of the timeline and the beginning of your project. And uh, you also want to make sure that you're zoomed in far in enough so that every time you click right or left on the arrow keys, it only moves 1 30th of a second. And what you actually want to do is move the audio back 3 30ths of a second. So what you do is you click on the beginning of the audio, and then move three spots back. Then you want to right click on the audio, select events to end, to highlight all the audio, and then drag it all back to that spot that's 3 30ths of a second back behind the original spot. Now when you play your track, it'll be out of sync on your computer, but when you upload it to YouTube after rendering, it'll be in sync. And so you're about to see uh, two clips, the first without using the technique and the second with using the technique. And just read the description before asking any questions, otherwise I'll call you a suck. And just please, you know, stay sucker free. a lot of beef until he gets caught in smoke but the problem is never cured on top of that most of them be swing a while and then drop the bat many curious spectators watch the human drama this rat cap is all in the street without his